analyzing selections for the Packers and Matt Miller's seven-round mock draft on ESPN. Matt Miller's recent seven-round mock draft on ESPN provided the Green Bay Packers with significant reinforcements for their offensive line and introduced several new defensive assets tailored to Jeff Halfley's defensive strategy. The Packers secured offensive linemen with two of their initial five picks, along with acquiring a slot corner, an effective edge rusher, and a versatile interior lineman. Below is a concise breakdown of the Packers' selections in Miller's simulation. 1. Guyton, a towering prospect at 6'8 and 322 pounds, could potentially fill the void left by the departure of John Runyon and David Bakhtiari. He possesses exceptional length and agility, showcasing versatility across multiple positions. 2. Ennis Rakestraw, a cornerback standing at 5'11 and weighing 183 pounds, excels in pressman coverage, making him an ideal fit for the Packers' defensive scheme. Despite a core muscle injury, Rakestraw's talent is undeniable, offering immediate competition in a crucial position. 3. Mason McCormick, an offensive lineman from South Dakota State, stands at 6'4 and weighs 309 pounds. Despite being underrated in the pre-draft process, McCormick boasts the potential to start a guard or center, providing valuable depth to the Packers' offensive line. 4. Brandon Dorless, a defensive lineman from Oregon, stands at 6'3 and weighs 283 pounds. While Miller overlooks the Packers' shift to a 4-3 scheme, Dorless remains a viable option as either an edge rusher or a 3 technique, thanks to his disruptive abilities. 5. Gabriel Murphy, an edge rusher from UCLA, stands at 6'2 and weighs 247 pounds. Despite concerns regarding his size, Murphy's impressive performance at UCLA and strong testing numbers make him an intriguing prospect for the Packers. 6. Michael Pratt, a quarterback from Tulane, stands at 6'2 and weighs 217 pounds. While the Packers aim to draft quarterbacks annually, selecting Pratt in the fourth round may be premature, considering their recent acquisition of Sean Clifford. 7. Kamal Haddon, a cornerback from Tennessee, stands at 6'1 and weighs 196 pounds. With promising coverage skills, Haddon adds depth to the Packers' cornerback roster, potentially evolving into a starter in the future. 8. Quantes Stiggers, a CFL standout, boasts a height of 6 feet and weighs 197 pounds. Despite his lack of collegiate experience, Stiggers' impressive performance in the CFL and the East-West Shrine game earned him recognition. 9. Johnny Wilson, a wide receiver from Florida State, towers at 6'7 and weighs 231 pounds. While the Packers have depth at receiver, Wilson's unique physical attributes make him an intriguing prospect for various roles within the team. 10. Imani Bailey, a running back from TCU, stands at 5'7 and weighs 202 pounds. Despite his stature and underwhelming test results, Bailey's agility and versatility make him a potential developmental asset for the Packers' backfield. 11. Ryan Rikau, a punter from BYU, stands at 6'4 and weighs 235 pounds. While the Packers have secured Daniel Whalen for the upcoming season, Rikau presents competition with his strong punting abilities, potentially enhancing the team's special teams unit.